Hi, I'm Lou Brown. You know, one of the things that I get asked all the time from real estate agents is how can I be more creative in the offers that I help my sellers to make or my buyers to make? And it's so common, isn't it? Like all the time, the only kind of transaction most real estate agents want to get involved in is an all cash deal. In other words, their client is going to go to the bank and qualify for a loan. Or if their client is selling a home, you're expecting the new buyer to go to the bank and qualify for a loan. Or if they're fortunate enough to have all cash, bring that cash to the table, baby. And that agent is done. And anything else that's outside of that, they don't even touch. Well, let me introduce you to another world. There is so much more opportunity that can increase the sales price of the home. And when a home's sales price increases, what happens to your commission? It goes up, doesn't it? It absolutely goes up because the house sold for more money. So certainly you can look at your seller's situation. You can find out if they really need cash or what they really need is just to be rid of the property. Now, if they need cash, well, how much cash do they actually need? Do they need all of that cash at one time? And if so, why? Why do they need that much money? The other side of it is maybe you can be creative simply because of the use of that cash, right? To purchase another property or something that they may be planning to do with that money. So definitely determine what your seller's needs are, not their wants, but their needs. What are they planning to do with that money? Now you can look at the transaction from a different point of view. Maybe they only need $20,000. Well, what that means is your buyer only needs to bring $20,000 to the table. What does that mean to your seller? Well, let's say that your seller has, uh, this is a hundred thousand dollar property and the seller needs $20,000 cash, but the other $80,000, let's say they owned it free and clear. The other $80,000, they really don't need right now. And your new buyer has $20,000 to put down and they would love it if the seller would carry back the other $80,000 in uh, owner carry financing. Well, that's a creative way that your seller could sell their property quickly because guess what? There's a whole bunch of people out there that would buy a house if there was financing in place. Now, why can't they go to the bank and qualify for a loan? Because there's people out there that have less than perfect credit, there's also people out there that have businesses. And so they have that 1099 income. And as a result, banks are not excited about that unless they have two years of tax returns that show consistent cash flow and income. Well, I know a lot of people and I deal with people every single day that have significant down payments and significant cash flows, but they cannot qualify for loans at bank. And you probably have seen that as well as a real estate agent. So imagine that a whole different transaction can occur if you were able to bring another idea to the table. Now that's just one, by the way, I have, 37 different ways that we can structure a transaction. So when we talk with a seller, we're really finding out what their needs are, not their wants, but their needs. And then we look to fulfill their needs, solve their problem and come up with one of the 37 different ways that we can structure that transaction that solves their problem, gives them what they need, and gives us what we need. You see, typically in a transaction, I'm a real estate investor. I am looking to purchase that property in a certain way so that I can offer it on the marketplace. Now we offer a program called the path to home ownership. Now this is offered to our buyers. So many of the people that we're attracting have that same situation, less than perfect credit. They have down payment money. They have skills to be able to take the house as is. In fact, they're happy to take it as is and do the work to the property. Love to teach you that process. I love to teach you those 37 different ways to structure the transaction. Please check us out, streetsmartinvestor.com. I've got classes 
MillionaireDealMaker.com is where I teach those 37 different ways to structure a transaction. Love to work with real estate agents. Check us out at CertifiedAffordableHousingProvider.com. This is a brand that I help that I help real estate agents add to their world uh, and be able to offer solutions that are not the traditional A credit sale. Certainly we love those A credit sales because that's when we get our commissions. But have you ever noticed that those A credit borrowers, they are the pickiest of all of them. Imagine that you don't have to deal with that pain and suffering. Uh, that's, that was an aha moment for me at one point when I used to only do A credit flips uh, to new buyers that qualified at the bank. And I said, this is a pain. This is an absolute pain dealing with these contracts and dealing with these people. And I found out that there was this whole other world of people out there that just didn't have the issues that a credit buyers had. So I would love to share that with you. Check us out. We've got a wealth builder workshop, wealth, wealth builder workshop dot online. You can check us out and get into one of our upcoming workshops. Uh, where we've got a discounted price for you to spend a whole day with me sharing with you these amazing ways that we can structure transactions and also about trusts, land trusts and personal property trusts, how you hold title to properties. Lots of different things I can share with you because I've been in this game for over 40 years, buying, holding and selling properties. Uh, and I'd love to teach you and, share with you exactly what has worked in our world and worked for many different real estate agents all across the country. I look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, baby.